everybody, it's Tanner from TannerBuildDesigns.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool pot and how you can make it. Now, mine is already made. I'm trying it a little different on the website today. I already made this, and it took quite a while to make. Well, I won't say quite a while. It just took a few a while to uh, find the right the colors of paint and all kinds of stuff. So what I started out doing was I painted this right here a nice green color. And it's this green right around here. It's sort of still on the car there, right there. And it was really a nice green. But at the beginning, I didn't know I wanted to make this for someone that was having a baby. So I thought, well, I just released this new, it's a baby stamp set, and I thought, it hey, wouldn't it be cool to give this to someone that's pregnant or when they just had their child and to plant a seed in there and let the plant grow as the child grew. So I thought that was a great inspiration thing, and I'm really excited to do this because I personally don't look for stuff like this, so I've never seen anybody else do it. I'm sure people have before. And I've already stamped Welcome Little One from the set. It's right here that says Welcome Little One. I just stamped it on some Canvas Corp cardstock. It was actually one of my favorite pieces of paper from Canvas Corp. What I do is I take these pieces of paper right here. Now, I love this design, but on the back, there's a nice caramel or cream color. And I just stamped it, and I took a Chillax by Megan Elizabeth ink pad around the edges. And I took some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and sprayed it on some white ribbon. And that's how I created this ribbon right here. And I put about three to four coats of white paint on here. And if you sort of look around here, I stamped... I was going to stamp right onto the pot. It does fine. I just couldn't do it correctly. <laughs> so I decided I might put another coat on here. I put the ribbon on with my glue gun, my hot glue gun. So if you want to just use HEG, if you want to use, you know, whatever adhesive, it all, it all will work. So next, after you've done that, you can put your ribbon on. And all I did was tie a knot. I took one big piece of ribbon and glued it all the way. I even glued it right here. You can sort of tell. And then I just took the leftover and tied a little knot. I was going to do a bow, but I wasn't going to be like try to do it because I normally I mess up. <laughs> so next thing I wanted to do is put some potting soil in here and plant a seed for whoever's pregnant. And, you know, this would be great in, you know, just something fun to do when either if you're pregnant, you want to plant a seed and, you know, see how it grows while your baby grows. You know, it's a really cool thing to do and I think it would be cool. And the paint, I used actually, I didn't use a foam brush. I used a other brush to give texture and I really like how those feel. So it's a really cool idea. Next person I know that's having a baby, this is definitely going to be the, their gift. And I think I'll have to fix this because I put You Are Worth More Than Rubies when it was green paint. So I think I'll have to do some touch-ups, but you never know. I just might, you know, keep this just for the blog and get a, make a new one. But, you know, it costs less than a dollar to get this right here. It, you know, paint's like 50 to a dollar each bottle. And then ribbon's really cheap. Paper's really cheap. And the stamp set you get to use over and over and over again. So if you have to pay 10 to fifteen dollars you know whatever it's whatever it takes you know what I'm saying so here it is and I really encourage all of you all to go order the it's a baby stamp set and if you head on over to tannerbelldesigns.com there might be a discount code for the baby stamp set I think I would like to do something really cool over at tannerbelldesigns.com you can see the website right down here which I'm sure it's already on your screen too but you know you know, I'm just one of those people that I like to just show you on camera. So it's really a cool pod. I think it's a really great idea. So if you'd like to try it, you know, try it. Let me know. You can leave me a comment or you can shoot me an email. Tanner at TannerBellDesigns.com. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.